Hey, it's Liam here from Tinnitus Treatment, and in this video, I'm going to break down exactly, well, I'm going to break down some information on tinnitus without hearing loss, because lots of people uh, have tinnitus and they have it without hearing loss, and that's when doctors and ENTs think, well, I don't really know, it's for life, figure it out, and you're just kind of like, this is ridiculous what I'm supposed to do, so I'm going to break down exactly what's going on there. So, there's so many different um, things that doctors think is a symptom of tinnitus, but they forget that there's an underlying cause and tinnitus is a symptom of that thing. So I'll say that again. Doctors think that um, hearing loss and tinnitus, first of all, doctors have this whole concept in ENTs that I don't know where they got it from, but they, they told me the exact same thing. They said, look, Liam, you've got noise trauma tinnitus from playing drums. Go, okay, that makes sense. And uh, so you've lost a, you know, we have a, a breadth of what we can hear from a high pitch to low pitch. And uh, you've lost the, um, the high pitch. And so what happens is the brain doesn't like any gaps, so it tries to fill it in by making its own noise. Okay, okay. Uh, makes sense, I guess. And that's where the ring is coming from. So that's when doctors try to basically give you that, that pitch in the ear and put it in your ear. But what's really going on is you can drown out any noise with another noise, right? I can play music off my phone, but if someone stands here with an air horn, you're not going to be able to hear the music of the phone. I can play music on my phone, and I can put my fingers in my ear. I'm not going to hear the music on my phone. I can play a pitch on my phone. And you, you get where I'm going with this. But regarding what, what doctors and ENTs think about, let's make sure this is just, okay, it's recording, good. What doctors and ENTs think about the whole concept of um, that is wrong. Because it, it, I've seen many people with noise trauma um, who think they have noise trauma and they actually don't because they don't have any hearing loss, okay? And even when they do have hearing loss, it's normally not, da your hair cells aren't damaged. Normally what it is is, there's issues such as bad diet and stress, which causes chemical reactions. There's always a chemical culprit to tinnitus because stress is chemical. Your um, the follicle hairs in your ears, yes, have been affected, not permanently, okay, but they've been affected. Not per they've been affected, but not permanently, but they've been inhibited and their capacity to work has been affected by what's called the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, let me break this down real simple life, okay? The endoplasmic reticulum is a part of each cell that's the energy of each cell, okay? And what it does is it provides basically electricity. Remember, humans are electric before we're chemical. Electricity is more important, okay? It's how we're alive. That's what keeps our heart beating, okay? Now, the endoplasmic reticulum in all the cells except the cells that don't have a nucleus, so they're not in your red blood cells, but bear with me. The endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for... in your. It's very important in your inner ear, okay, for actually being able to... Um, pump the electricity which turns sound waves you get it into nerve signals that goes into your brain and creates the noise and it does this in trillions and trillions and trillions of a second which is why you can hear so many things going on i can hear the fan you, i can hear my jumper rusting i can hear the, the cars outside in the car park i can hear the aircon humming all at the same time but you can also hear the different ranges and i can also hear if i do as you can hear this hopefully there's so many different um, things going on in that noise. There's the sweat glands, there's the finger hitting this, there's the nail roof. You can hear it all, but that's so, it's such, there's so much energy required that the problem is when you drink, sorry, when you have too many carbohydrates and you just feed your body crap um, and your cells die, um, here's what happens. So this is kind of complex, but it has to do with, with hearing loss and without hearing loss as well. When you um, have, let's say, a loss of hearing, okay, most of the time, what it is, is your endoplasmic reticulum, which is responsible, as we said, for clarity of hearing as well, which is when you do the headphone, uh, I heard it I heard it in that, we've all done that with the ENT, right? When you do that, what's happening is, um, when your cells in your body, right, let me just break this down as simple as I possibly can. This is about three hours worth of information, it's a short video, by the way, so bear with me. But if you want the short, condensed version, go to liamstopsonitis.com, click below, download the free guide, okay? But what happens is when your cells die, there's an endoplasmic reticulum in every cell. That still takes energy away from you. So what happens is if you can imagine um, all these cells in your inner ear, okay, that need energy, you're eating food regardless of the fact that the food is bullshit. But you're eating crap food and you're killing all the cells in your bodies because they're just they're slowly withering away because it's like you're giving a, a person water with um, motor oil in it, like a drop of motor oil. It's a pernicious poison, which means slowly killing you, not, not 
not quickly, but slowly killing you. It's like if I put a tiny little drop of dishwashing detergent in this and drank five a day, I'd be dead, dead in like 10 years probably, I guess. But you get the idea. And so the cells inside your, let's say three out of um, 10 cells in your ears die. Let's say, let's say that, that many out of your, three out of 10 cells in your ears die, right? If you don't fast, they're going to stay there, okay? So what happens is all the energy, the food that you eat, the electricity, those um, endoplasmic reticulums still take the energy from the food and so your dead cells, which should be helping you with hearing, but they can't because they're dead, are still zapping, they're still consuming precious energy, okay? That makes no sense, right? This is why your hearing goes to shit, okay? I guess this video is more for people who have it with hearing loss as well, but it matters for people without hearing loss too. So that's why your hearing goes to shit, okay? Now, how does fasting help this? When you fast three, four days, sometimes two, depending how, on how fat you are, you get into a state of what's called a state of autophagy, which is where your cells eat each other. So those healthy cells will eat the bad cells and then your energy is more evenly distribu distributed and so your ears start working again. Now, this isn't going to happen in one fast, especially if you're 40 years old and you've never fasted in your life and you drink alcohol every day and bread and rice and you think, oh, it's a birthday, I can have a second slice of cake. You're fucked, basically. It's going to take a lot longer, okay? I'm not trying to make you depressed, but I'm giving you the real picture. I'm not trying to promote some sort of magic bullet. That's ridiculous. I'll leave that to the doctors to give you a pill and do that. That's their job, okay? That's not my job. But you get the point, right? So let me give you a metaphor. So if you have a bird... Um, in a jungle and um, its main goal, the bird's main goal, emotions aside, okay, emotions aside, is to raise as many healthy, prime healthy chicks to survive as possible in about, let's say like, I don't know, two months time, whatever the time it takes from an egg to fly, right? And it keeps bringing back food. And this is actually, you can watch David Attenborough's Africa and see this happen beautifully, okay? This is a great metaphor. So the bird brings back food and there's always the runt of the litter and then there's the, I don't know, the alpha of the litter or whatever, or whatever you call the chicks. And so some, the bigger birds would get the food first because they knock the other ones out of the way and get the food first, okay? But the little birds still get the scraps. But it's obvious that they're useless. It's obvious they're going to die. That's the reality of the situation, okay? Now, what would happen if the bird, if there wasn't enough food, right, for two days. The bigger chick would probably just survive and still be like, oh, this just sucks, but it would probably still survive. The smaller chick would die because it doesn't have enough energy, it doesn't have enough water, it doesn't have enough stored fat, it would just die. And then what would happen, probably the, the big baby bird or even the mother would eat the little chick, right? And then what happens next time there's food, a la next time you eat, you bring back you, the energy that you eat, as long as it's clean energy, and by that I mean no bread, no rice, and as long as you're drinking Fiji water, that's right, I actually do what I tell you guys to do, I mean, this isn't bullshit, I do it, okay? Um, as long as you actually do this, and, and so the, the mother bird brings back uh, energy, right, so food, and then that big bird is going to get even bigger because no longer does it have to divide the food up with the crappy little baby birds. And so maybe you have three birds in total, two are very big and strong, and three are just dying. There's no food for two days, three birds, little birds die, two ones are kind of like, uh, this is kind of shit. Then you give them even more food and then it's like, wham, that break just giving them, you know, it's separated, it's survival of the fittest. And so what happens is then with the metaphor in the cells is your ability to hear comes back if the metaphor is the ability to thrive and survive. I hope that makes sense. And how that ties in with people with um, tinnitus and without hearing loss, if you have tinnitus, and no hearing loss, chances are you have a kidney problem, you have a liver problem. Uh, it's normally just the fact that you're eating too much ridiculous crap. And also it could be an iodine deficiency if you're, or, um, if this is for people who've taken antibiotics or they might have a parasite, but let's focus on iodine. This is another video completely, but if you take iodine, um, you're in a good place, quality iodine, because if you, um, Essential. You know what, we'll save it for another video because it's too much to talk about now. But if you want uh, the free guide I've got going on right now, which is pretty awesome to be honest, go below, click liamsobsplanets.com, 
put in your email address, it'll send it to you automatically. And then I'm gonna send you even more free stuff over to space for four days, just free videos and more complex information. Because as you just saw, I can't explain it all in a YouTube video because it'll probably go for about an hour and a half. So all that stuff is available once you put your email address in and get the free guide, okay? It's a beginner's guide. It shows you how to get rid of tinnitus without habituation, without drugs, and without surgery, okay? So hope that helps. Uh, got any questions, comment below. This has been um, tinnitus without hearing loss. Cool.